Hello everyone! It is about five days before Christmas and I've decided that I need to make myself a new dress. Hello! Welcome back! My name's Bonnie and this is Happy Space Great. If you are new here, hello and welcome. If you are not familiar with me, hello! My name's Bonnie and I am a seamstress that lives in the UK. Um, I don't know why I did that really long random introduction, but like I said in the intro, it is five days before Christmas and I decided that I need to make myself a new dress for Christmas Day because I couldn't possibly wear something that I already have in my wardrobe and I need to add this unnecessary stress into my working week. But, on that note, I am going to make myself a new dress and I'm determined to get this done. It is now around about 7pm on a Saturday evening and I'm going to get started. I put a post out onto my Instagram. If you do not follow me, it is Happy Space Creates. I'll put a little at thing down here somewhere. Um, I put a poll up to see which pattern you guys at home thought I should make and the decision was unanimous really. I think it was a bit of a uh, landslide do they call it? I don't know. Where um, basically one pattern came out on top and that is the Nina Lee spring dress. I will put a picture of it as if by movie magic right here. Um, yes, it was the Nina Lee spring dress. Now I put a post up to say that I wanted to make something that I have made before because let's face it, I do not have time for fitting at the moment. I just need to make something that I know is gonna fit. Um, so yes, the Nina Lee spring dress came out on top. I'm gonna do a little bit of pattern hacking as well. I'm hoping to uh, do some puff sleeves because nothing says Christmas like a puff sleeve. Um, this is my fabric. This is Bella. Bella, say hello. Good girl. This is my fabric, tartan. Tartan fabric. It is a gorgeous um, burgundy red colour tartan fabric. It's got a little sort of yellow stitch in it as well. It's quite traditional. Um, I think this would make a really, really gorgeous Christmas dress. And um, it is a poly viscose. I want to say poly viscose. Um, basically, I bought it on eBay. I wasn't quite sure what was going to turn up. And I do love it, so I'm really pleased. It's been washed and I'm just about to press it now so that I can get cutting. Um, so I would like to take you along with me in the process. Um, and fingers crossed, this goes smoothly. If not, I'll have to be naked for Christmas dinner. Okay, I'm back. It's all pressed. I mean, I've just screwed it all back up again, but I pressed it. Um, I did it, I ironed it on a sort of medium iron temperature. This is a polyester blend fabric, so I just didn't know, basically I didn't want to melt it. Um, so I've done it on a cool setting. Because of the polyester content, it doesn't seem to be creasing, um, which is really, really good because low maintenance dress that doesn't need ironing is great. Um, I've just realised though that I ordered three metres and I've I thought this doesn't look like three meters and it's not, they've sent me two meters. So, hurdle one. Yeah, so we're gonna wait and see how that goes. Um, I'm gonna grab the pattern now, I'm gonna lay it out and yeah, like just join along, see how I go. Um, yeah, we'll speed this up, so don't worry. <laughs> so, I think you're a bit low down, but basically, I have just self-drafted my sleeve. So ironically, I said I wanted something that was quick and easy to sew, but I ended up self-drafting a sleeve. So this is the spring dress sleeve that it comes with. Um, I have actually already shortened this in the original pattern and I've lost the long version. So what I did was I copied it and then lengthened it and then using the split and spread method, this is all cut up to pieces, I then drafted a puff sleeve. So the sleeve's now huge and hopefully that will give me lots and lots of volume and gathers at the top. So fingers crossed this goes well 
um, and I'm gonna cut out now. So we finally got there. That took about half an hour. Um, and yeah, let's get cutting. Ever the helpful sewer is Bella. I am back here at the sewing machine. Everything is cut out and my pattern pieces are now marked with all the darts and notches. It went relatively smoothly. Um, I had plenty of fabric and I have loads left over, which is good. So um, I obviously overestimated the amount that I would need. So I'm pleased about that. I have one very puffy sleeve that is cut out. Um, and it's time to get sewing now. I just need to change my thread. So, black. Well, of course I don't have a bobbin all ready to go. Note to self, wind bobbins. Let's do this. I am back, so. I'm actually in my dressing gown now. Uh, it's about nine o'clock and um, it's really cold. It's really, really cold in my house and I'm in my dressing gown and that's just how it is. Um, surely you guys will sew in your pajamas and dressing gowns at home. So if that is not the most relatable uh, thing you've ever seen, then clearly I'm insane for being in my dressing gown on the internet. Um, but hopefully you are watching in your dressing gowns at home. Um, so I have done the bodice, so I have got the front section here, I've got the darts that are now in, and I've got the side seams and the shoulders, and then I've also got this um, like pleated, pleated? No, just like open front part, I don't know if you can see, like a v-neck, so that is one of the key features of the spring dress. Soon there is going to be some binding that goes around the top and then a little string that dangles down. The top is quite a loose boxy fit um, and I am gonna, when I do the waistband I am gonna sew some, um, oh god what's it called? Elast it's not elastic, it's like plasticky kind of elastic. Clear elastic maybe? Yeah, something like that. I think it's called clear elastic. I'm gonna sew some of that round to give a little bit of stretch in the waistband. Because the last one I did, I always wear with a belt. Um, so I'm just gonna sew some clear elastic in to give it a little bit of give in the waistband. But yeah, that is the top so far. I'm now moving on to my sleeves. So I'm gonna put this to one side for now. Um, and I'm going to get gathering on my big poofy sleeve, so I will inform you as to how that goes. Um, I've got my, my laptop, I'm watching a cheesy Christmas film on Netflix, I've got some biscuits over there also, and um, a lovely cup of tea. Okay, big poofy sleeve. So I'm going to sew my gathers on a basting stitch, which is what I always do. Okay, let me hear. So this is the top. So this is looking pretty good. This is my sleeve now. So um, I have gathered the stitches here and sewn the side seam. So it's all together. It's not as puffy as I had hoped it would be. Um, and I think it might be a little bit too small. Um, but what I'm gonna, it's quite narrow at the cuff. And I, I'm not sure whether I like it like that. It's just not as puffy as what I hoped it would be. So what I might do is I might, before I go ahead and make the other one, I might sew this one in place and try it on again, see how it looks. Um, and then for the bottom, I was gonna put some elastic in the bottom, but to be honest, it's quite narrow, so I think I might just hem it and that would be okay. But let's stitch this on and see. We are in with a sleeve. Um, so it's attached. It turns out that it looked weird because I had the back sleeve on the other side, so 
this sleeve is actually belonging to this side and it is, you know, puffy. Um, it's not as big as what I thought it was going to be, which is okay. I think I was probably playing it safe with the first time me using a slash and spread method. So I think I just played it safe a little bit. But it definitely has more volume than the last spring dress that I made. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one now. And then I think I'm going to call it a day. Uh, it's quite. T I'm quite tired now. So I think I'm going to call it a day after that. Um, and then I will finish the skirt tomorrow. Hello! So it is now the next day and um, I've done all the jobs that I needed to get done today so now I can sit back down and crack on with this dress. So this is a photo of where we left things last night. So as you can see, one sleeve was done um, and the bodice was complete. Um, but <laughs> here's where we are now. Um, so again, one sleeve. Um, I had some revelations in the night before I was going to bed. I don't, don't know if you guys go to bed dreaming of sewing, but I do. Um, so I had some revelations in that when I was trying on the bodice again, the it was a little bit tight over the bust and the sleeve just wasn't quite where I wanted it to be. So what I did was I unpicked the sleeve. I took the old sleeve off. So this is actually a new sleeve. Uh, my old sleeve was quite narrow at the bottom um, and it was sort of taking away from the puffiness. So I redrafted it. It's now got a little bit more volume at the top and it sort of goes like straight down rather than tapered. Um, and I'm just gonna put some elastic at the bottom and then hopefully when I'm wearing it, it'll all sort of balloon out a little bit. Um, the other thing is that the sleeve was sitting quite, um, quite low down on the arm so if I show you on me so this is where my shoulder starts and the puff sleeve was starting about here um, and obviously I'd quite like it to start at the top of my shoulder so I took um, about half an inch off the top of the shoulder here um, and then just sort of like tapered it round um, and that's worked really well. So I've just trimmed this side as well. That is the new sleeve that's on. And then also what I've done is I have just unstitched this side seam because it's quite tight over my bust. I think I'm gonna put in a little zip at the side um, just to give a little bit more room because it fits me really well when it's on. Um, it's just a bit tight getting it on. So I've got a zip that I'm gonna put in at the side as well. It's not a very long one, unfortunately, um, but it will do the trick, I think. Um, so yeah, that's where we are right now. So welcome back, everyone. This is day two, um, and I'm just about to do the other sleeve. And yeah, and then the bodice will be done, really. Um, so yeah, I will pick up with you again briefly. I'm back, hello. So, look at this. I'm really chuffed, guys. So, this is the finished bodice. Look at my hair, disgusting. Um, so, it looks really short in the bodice, but it's not. I know that the tears start from sort of like, that's my waist here. So, um, I'm really, really happy with that. I'm really glad that I spent the time making the adjustments because it was definitely worth it because I really really love the sleeves um so yeah look at the volume on that so good and so here's the sleeves now so I've just sewn some elastic at the bottom so they are puffy all the way down and I'm really glad that I moved that shoulder seam up because they were starting quite low before so they're sh starting a bit higher up I'm gonna move on to the skirt. So I'm pretty sure I'm on the home straight now because the skirt comes together super, super easy. Um, so I'm really chuffed. I love it so much. Um, yeah, I'm really pumped. Um, thank you so much for watching all of this, if you are, by the way, just watching a video of me waffling on. Um, but I really hope you're enjoying watching it um, or taking part in the stress or you know, learning a little bit. I don't really know what you're gonna get out of this video, but I'm glad that you're here. 
thank you hello everyone so it is now day three of dressmaking for christmas it is the 22nd of december yeah 22nd of december um so I was intending on finishing this all yesterday, but I did most of the skirt and then I broke a needle in the sewing machine. That is a sign to call it a day. So I'm back again, third day. I really wanted to get it done, so fingers crossed I'm getting it done today because if it doesn't get done today, quite frankly, it's not getting done. So I have the dress right here. The skirt is now attached, so if I hold it up, you will hopefully be able to see. So that's the front of the dress. I've done two layers of skirt. The skirt came together really, really well. Um, I've now just overlocked the bottom. Yes, I know the thread's white, but it's on the hem and no one's gonna see it. Um, and now I ha am just hand basting my zip into the side here. Um, and then all that's left is to do the zip the binding and then the hem of the skirt so it should be really really straightforward from here this is the final hurdle now so if I come closer you can see I've got the little neck band band already done um, so I lost the pattern piece for this um, so I actually self drafted this one and I did the ties a little bit longer than last time because I do like to tie it and make a cute little bow because I do think it looks super cute like just a little detail um so here is the waist I actually did do the zipper which really really helps when I was putting it on so it's not so um tight going over my bust when I'm putting it on but I am absolutely in love with this dress I love it so much I think a tartan dress is not just for Christmas, it turns out. I would wear this all the time. I think it's so, so cute. Um, I just need to hem it, so I'm just gonna do a little length check in the mirror. Um, and I am debating sewing a wee bit of elastic round the middle, just to sort of like, not tight, but just to sort of suck it in the shape a little bit. I'm not sure if it's a little bit Little House on the Prairie at the moment. Um, so yeah, so I am debating doing some elastic in the middle, um, but yeah, the only thing is, is I wish it had pockets, but I'm in love, let me know what you think of this, um, I think it's really cute, I feel like Mrs. Claus with my little, gonna get a little Santa hat, um, yeah, gonna hem it, and then we are done, so thank you so much for joining me on this journey, um, and I hope you like this dress as much as I do, but Merry Christmas everyone! Bye!